Hey guys, it is my last first day of school. We're gonna get ready. As I tell you why, I withdrew from a university and went to a community college. And along the way, I'm gonna give you some tips. So first of all, when I started school, I had no idea that I could pick my own classes. My enrollment counselor picked them for me, and I just thought that was the way it goes. And he gave me classes that were worth zero credit, so why would I ever take those? Like, it already just started off bad. So my first tip was to be your own advisor because these advisors and counselors, they don't be advising and they don't be counseling. Even ever since then, I like even at my community college and at my university now, my advisors have been no help. I've had to like make sure I'm doing everything on my own. Like my advisor now is like talking to a brick wall. Like what? Like, my advisor in my community college, I didn't even uh, graduate with my associates because she told me to take this class, right? I took it. And then when it was time to like apply for graduation, she was like, oh yeah, that class is like, I know it says online that it's worth two credits, but it's actually zero credits. So you need two more credits. Why wouldn't you tell me that when I had a meeting with you about trying to be on track? See my associates, girl. Well, anyway, I started at GCU because my mom works there. So I only had to pay the taxes. I really wanted to go to ASU because I already knew about the ASU dance program. Oh, I'm a dance major, if you didn't know. So I really wanted to go to ASU, but I went to GCU and the campus life, great. Dance program, no. I was really stressed out. I, you know, I didn't know that I could pick my own classes. I had classes all day, every day, which is kind of normal as a dance major, but like, I don't want to take classes that I don't need, you know, like for zero credits, really. So um, that was really stressful and I had other things going on in life that have nothing to do with school. And so I went through and I was like, what am I going to do? Because I know I want to graduate from college. I know I want to go to school for dance. So I took a two year break. Okay. And I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I am going to go to community college and get my general ads out of the way because I thought about it and I'm like, why the heck would I pay more for my general ed classes? Like, why would I pay, for example, $5,000 for math class at um, a university than pay a thousand at a community college? because I don't care about math. I'd rather pay 5,000 for a dance class or like classes that I care about. Like that makes sense, right? I feel like everyone should do that. Well, actually, I feel like you should do what's best for you. But yeah, I was like, why not do that? And then I know some people are not great with online classes. I do so well with online classes. So I was like, I'm gonna take my general eds online at a community college. That's the backstory behind that. Now community, I feel like it's very important. The campus life, like I said, at GC was great. Um, I didn't really get a chance to have like a community at my community college, but I did join like a women's club and like that was cool and everything. The only thing about GCU was, yes, the campus like events and stuff, like that was cool, but the dance community, that didn't really feel the same. I felt really left out and like I didn't fit in and I also was like the one of the only people that looked like me if you know what I mean so I just like every time there was a chance to like be like talking and stuff like that like everybody clicked up and like formed circles and I was just kind of by myself and yeah that's kind of like how it felt the entire time now at ASU I feel like everybody in the dance community treats everybody like family when you come in it's i love it and it's so diverse and the dance program is just better overall like i said about 
paying more for classes that I feel like are better. That's just like a bang for your buck. And staying on the topic of money. Because I was in a small pond at the community college, I had a very good chance of kicking my education off to a good start. So I did really well with my grades and I was invited into Phi Theta Kappa. So Phi Theta Kappa is only for students who are in the top 1% of their school. I was like, wow, I was so proud of myself. Now through this group that I got inducted into, I've gotten so many scholarships and opportunities. I wouldn't have got this if I stayed at a university all four years. Now at my current school, I do do well, but I'm not in the top 1%. I don't get any like special offers to be in a group that give me like offers all the time. I am on the Dean's list though. My number one thing when I started college, I don't want any student loan debt. And because of Phi Theta Kappa and obviously like fast food, my, you know, my grades still being good, I don't need to ever think about pulling out a loan. I have so much money coming from different places and scholarships and I'm just so glad that I went on the path that I did. Let's go through the tips. Number one, be your own advisor as well. Okay. Number two, community. Number three, Get that bang for your buck and number four scholarships there are scholarships that people don't even apply for i know y'all tired of hearing it but it's true thousands of dollars go unused the most important thing is do what's best for you you know everybody has their own path i'm graduating at 24 years old and that's what i was meant to do because if i would have spent all four years in college going on that path i wouldn't have been as happy as the path that i've taken now i am almost done See you guys in the next video. Bye.